We all chase it. That hit, that rush, that little buzz from a notification, a sweet treat or a new purchase. We call it dopamine. But what if I told you that the relentless pursuit of that feeling is the very thing keeping you from being truly happy? We've been sold a lie about one of the most powerful chemicals in our brain. We'll learn what dopamine really is and how the modern world is built to hijack it. And a simple three-step plan you can start using today that'll help you reclaim your focus and your mind. First, let's get the science straight. As researchers like Dr. Robert Lustig have explained, dopamine isn't the molecule of pleasure itself. It's the molecule of motivation. It's the neurochemical that says, go get it. That might be great. It really drives you to seek. And serotonin, on the other hand, is closer to contentment. It's the neurochemical that says, this is nice. I have enough. I'm okay right here. The problem is the modern world has become an expert at manipulating this seeking system. It's built a trap. Take your phone, for instance. The infinite scroll on social media works exactly like a slot machine. It uses a principle called variable reward schedule. You don't get something amazing every time you scroll, but your brain knows that a funny video or an important message might just be one scroll away. And it's that unpredictability that possibility that keeps your dopamine system firing on all cylinders, constantly seeking and never satisfied. It's the same with our food. That combination of sugar, fat and salt in processed foods delivers an unnaturally high dopamine response that our biology simply didn't evolve to handle. The result of this is that the brain is stuck in a dopamine loop. We're left feeling restless, anxious and perpetually unsatisfied. And it's crucial to understand this is not a personal failure. It's a biological system that is being expertly manipulated. So how do we escape this trap? We can't realistically escape the modern world. What we can do is train our minds to change our relationships with our own urges. And here's the neuroscience in 30 seconds. Think of our impulsive dopamine driven brain as a very energetic worker. Now think of your prefrontal cortex, which is the front part of your brain as a wise, calm CEO. The worker screams, check your phone eat the cookie, and an untrained CEO just obeys. Mindfulness practice is strength training for your brain CEO. It builds your capacity for self-awareness. It allows you to notice the urge to scroll or to snack, and it creates a tiny pause before you automatically react. In that pause, you find your power, and in that pause, you get to choose. This isn't just theory, it's a skill. Let's make this practical with a three-step action plan you can use to reset your brain. First, practice strategic discomfort. For the first hour of every day, leave your phone in another room. Don't check email, don't check social media, and just be in the world. At first, this will feel uncomfortable and maybe even boring. And that feeling is a sign that it's working. You're allowing your dopamine receptors to recalibrate and you're recalibrating your brain to enjoy the simple things like the taste of tea or simply the quiet in the morning. And secondly, Learn to earn your dopamine. Our brains get a much healthier and more sustainable dopamine release from effort and creation rather than from passive consumption. So train 20 minutes of scrolling for 20 minutes of something active. Go for a walk, tidy your room, or practice an instrument. Learn one new phrase in a language. The satisfaction you get from doing something is much more rewarding than you get from watching something. And this builds real long-term motivation. And finally, a direct form of mindfulness training. I call it urge surfing. And for at least five minutes, just sit quietly. An urge will inevitably arise. An urge to fidget, to check your phone, to think about your to-do list. And your job is just not to fight it. Just get curious about it. Where do you feel it in your body? Is it restlessness in your hands? A tension in your chest or your shoulders? Just observe it with calm curiosity. And when you do this, you'll notice something amazing. The urge crests like a wave, and then it may start to fall away all on its own. This is weightlifting for your self-control. You're proving to yourself on a deep neurological level that you are not your urges. So let's bring it all together. We've learned that dopamine is the engine of motivation, not pleasure. We've seen how our modern world hijacks that engine, just leaving us wanting more. And we've outlined a clear three-step plan on how we can take back the controls. The goal isn't to get rid of dopamine, it's a guide to it. It's about shifting 
from being a puppet of your every impulse to becoming the calm, wise master of your own mind. This is where true well-being is found. If you found this helpful and want to continue the journey of understanding your mind, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, like and comment on this video. We also have an incredible free app. We're about to release a new module with a release technique. It is and always will be free. We also have an amazing course on there called 30 Days of Meditation, Science and Bliss, which is currently my favorite meditation course out there. And as I said, it is and always will be free. Thank you so much for listening. And I wish you all the best.